Hey, love fucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my grown extended beautiful family just thank you for taking the time out for yourself to be able to know yourself on all different levels being able to embrace the part of you that is not well known let yet that is been sitting in the dark and dormant dormant for so long that you're able to embrace it and bring it to the light as well so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up, tell me about your impact, the gift, how it impacted your life and head you towards positive direction. If the video just gives you, you know, the best vibes and good information you would love to share with a loved one, family or friend, or even a fellow empath that are needing spiritual guidance or just need confirmation or validation towards the life path or even soul purpose, please go ahead and share. While you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support and I love y'all from the bottom of my heart and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, this beautiful music that I'm listening to today is really giving me life with these these meditations I've been picking lately. It's called Let Go of Negative Attachment, Awaken, awaken Your Positive Spirit, Cleanse Self-Doubt and Fear. And it really, I didn't even notice I picked one that really went good with my content I'm doing today. And it's called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, remember that no one could love you better than you love yourself. It's just like a lot of times we give love away to a lot of people to help them heal or you know help them know that you you know you're there for them or whatever you know there are certain things that you know have been placed in our life where you know you can give love to somebody and they don't appreciate it or you know um or you're going out your way you know to get put your love in places that really just truly doesn't need that and it's not the fact that you know we all live and learn there's times i've talked to people and even there's sometimes i have in my past uh hated certain relationships or certain connections I had with people whether it was a spouse or a family member or even a friend or you know uh, people we've known for a long time that in instantly turned into strangers after we went through our spiritual awakening and it's just like when we go through our awake awakening it's like stripping us from everything we thought we knew into something that you know comes out like I remember hearing my dad talk about it, it make him want to go slap somebody when he starts seeing things the way they truly were and it, it's just like we should never sit up here and say you know oh I wish I didn't meet such and such or oh I hate the fact that I you know I you know put myself in a position for so long and wasting my time no anytime you have ever came in connection with anyone is either there to hurt you help you learn elevate yourself as well as you know educate you as well so it's like everybody you connect with is took a part of you where you had to learn something valuable about life about them or as well as in yourself that you were not aware of you know anytime I look at my past experience with people you know after I'm looking at it in a positive frame of mind which took me a long time to do that because there's a lot of times I'm like oh I wish I never met such and such they oh they caused me hell and this and this and that like my my relationship I just re recently popped from uh parted from uh we were together on and off for like 21 years you know that was like half of my life you know when I first started dating him um I was like 21 22 years old and now I'm like 42 so it was just like all that that time you know and not to be married to nobody it wasn't intended for me to be married um there was times like after my father passed being able to know who my father was seeing you know the nitty-gritty on how my family knew this whole time you know I was in rare form you know I thought I lost my mind you know finding all this stuff out and have to deal with that that grief by yourself um that took a lot of strength for me to do it took a, a lot of courage that I didn't even know I had and you know and I have to tell my dad every day thank you you know even though he couldn't physically be here even though that's what he always wanted um I was grateful for him to be in my life like that metaphysically spiritually you know he always reminded me of things I didn't see in myself you know and I was just like you know you were that parent that was very positive you know and I there were so many days that I wish my dad would have actually been able to be there but he was always in the shadows you know I was always running from him and never knew why you know it was just like I would have these crazy dreams 
and I would be seeing people that was in this club and it was a rock group and never was putting two and two together like I was always running from him he was in the shadows like telling me not to move not to move and it was like my life was basically when some of my dreams it was kind of like you know if anybody ever seen the first nightmare on the street uh when Nancy was trying to run from Freddie and tried to go up them stairs and her feet kept sinking in the stairs that's how I was when I was running from my dad and I used to have like really bad night terrors it went from the certain ones that I had that was very beautiful you know with me playing with my dad where it looked like the Garden of Eden and it was just like so beautiful like a, a daughter and father just you know playing around being able to have fun and then you know the older I got the more scarier it got I just didn't understand those type of dreams you know and it was like now when you can interpret it you know thank God for Google you know it can allow you to be able to understand why your dreams are the way they are or just even the people that hit been placed in your life it's like you know we signed this contract for every single person that we have dealt with down our life path and it's just like they have educated you in a lot of ways a lot of times you know if you look at it in a ne negative aspect that can really put you in a low frequency but then if you step out of it and be able to look at it from a positive perspective it allowed you to see a lot of things where people you know allowed you to just see certain parts of them especially if it was a negative uh impact in your life you know um they have they've been able to you know there are certain things that i've you know i've, I've you know i have experienced where i was just like damn you know i thought i was a good friend you know even though i had my flaws and imperfections as well but it was just like the way certain friendships ended it was just like people taking advantage or people being jealous or you know people seeing things in me I didn't see it myself you know where they try to project their weaknesses going towards me or you know it was just me just not want to deal with that anymore because they were in certain situations whatever but you know all these situations have alert allowed you to be able to love yourself beyond all measures you know when you've gone through uh, abusive relationships for so long it'll make you feel like you're not loved you know what you know looking at yourself like you're inconsistent um you know um it, it just allows you to look at things in a lot you know in a totally different way and every time I say that we're inconsistent it makes me think about Cardi B and her songs be careful you know and it really brought tears to my eyes because for you being a woman and you have a significant other that cheats on you um, especially if you're a celebrity and you're in the public eye, it has to be a lot worse because it's not just like, you know, like us as people, you know, regular people that are not in the limelight like that, you know, it'll be bad when you're dealing with different things, but with you being a public figure like that, it can be a lot harder because it's like everybody in your business. So it makes you look at yourself like, what's wrong with me? And there's nothing wrong with you. It's just the fact is those type of people have issues that they have that they run from so it's just like when people you know that you know a lot of people are like I don't like to cry it makes me feel like I'm weak and it's actually totally opposite if you can't be able to project your emotions you know I ain't say you gotta be you know punky you know to where you cry for everything but it's just be able to let your you know your feelings out the way if you feel sad be sad for that minute cry out you know let it off your chest you know there's like I was going through some stuff yesterday just in my cycles because it's like from since the lunar eclipse it has you in touch with every emotion that possibly can be but they want you know the universe wants you to be able to release anything that has a negative hold in your life you know you have all these blessings that are coming towards you and it can't come in until you be able to let go of the things that are no longer needed those painful situations has taught you how to love yourself those painful uh, you know uh, abusive situations allowed you to be able to see yourself as a stronger person you know yes you went through these things but it has to see you know I had to teach you a lot my I've been in very toxic relationships because that's what I grew up in and then you know being able to know that effect can have my children like that I always said I never wanted to see my kids do anything like I did I don't want them being and you know any kind of toxic relationships like that even though I exposed them to that you know I really don't want that type of life for them you know and it was just like scary because I'm going through the same exact term term when I can sit up here and see my life you know I always told my mom I used to get smart with her and say I would never let a man treat me the way you allow him to treat you like that way or not able to see my my mom's ex-husband in that light like 
you know, he tried to make it seem like he was the perfect one and she was damaged. Like, you know, everything was on her, but he didn't take responsibility of his actions. He didn't do that. And now it's just like, when I see the situation, when I was up in my feelings, I said, now I see why Pearl wanted to whip that ass a lot. <laughs> you know, I seen that and I saw busting out laughing. Then I had to come to terms like, you know what, hurt people hurt people. Because old dude had a problem with his daddy and his daddy used to do the same things that he'd been pressing on his kids. So, you know, it, it was just like a domino effect. So we have to be able to take those times out for ourselves. You know, a lot of times we're in, you know, relationships or we're scared to be alone. When universe has cut us off from each and every person, you know, you have auto, you know, they, they separated you from whatever relationship you're in. So that gives you time enough to be able to learn yourself on this uh, empathic level being able to see your gift for what it is, being able to see the power that's instilled in you for what it is, for you to be able to take that gift and use it on a positive, in a positive mind frame, being able to get you to higher frequencies for you to be able to use your gift in a positive mind frame. So you have to be able to see these things in you just because people have cheated on you and done you wrong. You know, you can't blame yourself for other people's actions. Nobody can't do anything to you. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, they, that person stresses me out. I haven't been that. You can't do nothing. You, they cannot do nothing you don't allow them to do. You know, there can be people that, you know, want to press your buttons or whatever. You know, you can't allow them to keep doing that. Or if you have, you've been that pushover, you know, oh, I'm going to give them a chance after a chance. I was friends like that. Now it's like, at that time, it's like, shoot, I'm like Fort Knox. You either you're in, you're in, you're out, you're out. I don't wish nothing bad on you. Good luck. <laughs> you know, but once I took you out, I'm not about to bring you back in. And there's no, you know, no, no harm, no foul. I don't have nothing against anybody. You know, it's just that when you tend to put your 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 you know your energy in negative situation it makes you lose focus on the positive things you're trying to bring towards your life and you know a lot of people are still stuck in that you know that 3d mind frame so even it's even sad when you see empaths that have been awakened but they're still going through that hurt and pain they're still carrying along that they need to heal from i say right now i'm on the work you know, I'm working on myself. As I work on myself and, you know, the daily experiences I have, I place them in videos because there's other people that are going through the same situations I am. And I, I, I'm the type of person I do not, if I can sit up here and stop a train wreck from happening, I would allow you to know, hey, this is something I went through. Don't go this route. <laughs> you know, do not go this route. You know, because at first when I saw my situation on being very toxic, I seen the red flags there, but I felt like my love would be enough to help them change for the better they would love me if I showed them more love but it's just like when you're in toxic situations like that people only can change what they want to you can't make them change with just your love that's something they have to do you know a person is not going to put you in a certain situation to leave you being questioned where you fit in their life um do you love me? What am I, am I to you? Anytime you have to have those type of questions, those are not the type of relationships you need to stay in. You know, anytime you have that doubt or you have that gut feeling, you all don't ever ignore your intuition and your gut feelings. Because, boy, I've done that before and, I don't, <laughs> and I'm paid big time for that. So, but it's just like when I see the experiences I've went through, you know, where I can, I'm still healing from or some I, I just done came to terms with. You know, when you want to get out of a certain karmic situation, you have to really, really look at it for what it is. What is universe? Universe ain't allowing me to move out of this situation, cutting everything off, financial, uh, you know, medical, whatever it is, sexual, anything that they know that's going to help you well allow you to lose focus. Because I'm that type of person like, shoot, I ain't, I'm trying to go. I ain't got time for all this. I run. I ain't got time. I don't even want to deal with it. I just want to go and go on about my business. But then you're not going to learn the lesson that you needed to learn out of that situation. So you have to really look at everything from every different level, every different angle, and understand why certain things are the way they are for you right now. Why can't I elevate and go towards this thing? They keep telling me my blessings are around the corner or my blessings are coming forth. But if we're still stuck in that 3D level or having that negative mindset towards our situation, well, you ain't going to never get out that situation. So you have to be able to understand why are you placing this, this certain situation? 
um, why can I leave this situation? Because there's something that you are not listening to. There are certain things that you're still holding on to that you need to let go of. That's the stuff I have to tell myself every day. You can't be sit up here trying to be at a 5D level when you're still going about things in that 3D way. You've been awakened. You can't go back healing the way you did before you awaken you have to be able to use a different mind frame towards a better situation you know everybody wants to elevate everybody wants to go into the new chapter that they long for they're working hard for it they get tired of going through the same thing over and over again but if you keep conditioning yourself in that same old way you don't keep going through that rotating door of the same old situation and i know it can look like i saw you like man i'm tired of seeing this shit <laughs> i'm ready to go but you have to be able to know love yourself on all levels don't allow somebody to come up you know that's just like that post you're not gonna allow somebody to come in your house and you know voluntarily rob you so why would you allow somebody in your presence or even in your energy to rob you from your peace rob you from your joy rob rob you for your self-love your happiness why you allow somebody to affect you like that if you're still in a situation where you have no choice but to still be there Allow yourself to be able to heal. Don't allow these certain people to have that power over you. Because when they still feel like they got them little puppet strings on you, you have to be able to cut them strings loose and go to heck on so you can be able to go to be where you, you truly deserve to be. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. Like I said, I have a group page on Facebook if you would love to join. You know, I'm trying to get more people to go ahead and, um, you know, be forthcoming on being able to speak. Because I know a lot of them are still, you know, in their introvert ways. I'm like, come on, y'all. I talk to y'all every day. We're going to do this like we do it. We do it here. We're going to do it over there, too. But it's just to be able to help people out their comfort zone, to be more forthcoming on what their struggles are, what they're going through through there's no judgment here there's no poking fun i don't have no time for no nar narcissistic energy or comments but you know if you would love to join i'll ha be happy to help you or i mean even be happy to have you um it's a hayoka spiritual journey on facebook page or even if you want to do a spiritual empath counseling on one-on-one -on -one, you can contact me as well on facebook messenger under my name so i would love to give a post notification shout out uh to lost puppy and gabriel much love to you as well and Miguel, much love to you. Y'all are elevating. Everybody's elevating. Y'all are starting to see things for what they are. You're you're embracing more of your gifts, which is so so beautiful to me. I'm so happy for you and I'm proud of you as well. Y'all have came a long way. And like I said, you know, give me a shout out. I mean, give me a shout out. Y'all write me down. <laughs> write down. Comment. Comment. <laughs> and let me know if you resonate. You know, give me a thumbs up. Share. Tell somebody about the channel. It'll be greatly appreciated. The more the merrier. Um, share. Give me a thumbs up. Or hit that notification. Subscribe. And I'll see you on my next video. Have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do. Know that you are truly blessed. Holly, Holly, Holly loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I will see you on my next video. So now as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way. Much love. Peace.